So um, now, since you are able to connect to the VSM uh, over SSH, uh, we can see that um, we have the VSM module available with us, and we are running a 5.2.1 image, um, as you can see, right? Um, so now the first important task is to connect from the vCenter server, uh, from the Nexus 1000 v switch towards um, um, establishing a connection between the vCenter server and the 1000 v switch, right? So if you do a show run, we can see that we already have a SVS domain configuration, right? And if you see, um, the SVS mode is L3 mode and it's using a management interface. So now we need to establish a connection, uh, the SES connection to have the connectivity from Nexus 1000V to V Center Server. Uh, once that connectivity is established, so then we can configure um, the port profiles, which will automatically get replicated onto the V Center Server. I mean the V ESXi host, right? So let's do that. Um, SES uh, connection, uh, name of the connection is um, SES con, right? Uh, protocol is VMware VIM, right? Uh, remote IP address, and we specify the uh, address of um, the vCenter server, 161. Right, and uh, you can specify port 80. Right, uh, is there anything else that we need to specify? Um, yeah, uh, the extension key is important. Uh, so in order to look at what we need to do for the extension key, um, and before we even go to the connection part of it, what we do is we go to the browser, and we connect to the VSM, uh, VSM module, so 165, right? Once you connect to it, you'll be able to see that for the same ver for this version and for this installation, uh, extension file has been generated, right? We will be using this extension file for um, adding it to the vCenter server. So we say we right click and do a save link as. And uh, over here, um, uh, virtualization, um, we can save the extension file here. Okay, now we go back to the vCenter server plugins, manage plugins, and right click, new plugin, right? And we browse the plugin, uh, virtualization, and we have the plugin here. So once this is done, we register the plugin, and that's it, you're done. So now we can go back to the terminal window, and we don't need to specify the extension key anymore, and we can just do connect. Oh, sorry. Um, I missed the most important um, stuff here. Uh, that is the VMware, DBS, data center name. And you need to use the same data center name that is coding that we have configured there. Right. So once that is done, you will see, since we have already issued the connect statement, you will see that it is already talking to the vCenter server and it's creating its uh, DBS switch. So on this server, um, we can do a show SVS connection and we'll be see, able to see the status of the connection. So it's connected. Now on the vCenter server, we go to, um, instead of host and clusters, we go to networking, 
uh, we browse the store, um, the data center, and we see that there's a folder created with the same name of um, the name that we specified uh, during the installation, and we have our DVS switch created, right? So it's automatically done once the SGS connection is established, right? All right, so now what we do is uh, now we, uh, once since the SES connection has been established, now we actually create the uplinks and um, the L3 uh, port trip um, on the VMware VSM, okay? So port profile, uh, type Ethernet, um, uplink. Right, and we do um, VMware port group, switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk allowed VLAN one, two, three, um, nine, six, seven. Four zero four eight to four zero nine three. Right, and uh, specify the, uh, yeah, this should be fine. And then we do a no shut. And then we do system VLAN one and state enabled. So once this is done, you see that there's uplink port, profile, port group automatically that got created on this DBS, right? Okay, so once um, the uplink port group has been created, the other step is to create um, the uh, the L3 uh, port group, which is uh, based off the type uh, virtual Ethernet, right? So port profile type V Ethernet and L3 con. So VMware port group capability L3 control, right? Ensure that this command is configured because without this, uh, even if you try to be, load your VIM module or connect to the ESXi to load the VIM, it's not going to work. So this command is important and this port, prof, port group is, um, uh, is important as well. So this needs to be configured, switch port mode trunk, Oh, switch port mode access, switch port access VLAN 1, no shut, system VLAN 1, state enabled. And here we go, yeah, we're done. Uh, one thing to note is that uh, once the physical link, uh, the physical Ethernet type is connected, you will see a green icon um, under the DBS for the physical ones, physical um, Ethernet uh, um, um, port groups, and for the ones that you have created for the virtually uh, V Ethernet port groups, you will see a globe icon, blue colored globe icon um, on that uh, switch. So uh, just ensure you see both of them over here under the DBS switch. All right, so this completes our um, configuration from the VSM part. Now we'll be doing um, the VEM module installation.